Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, we are going to be spending a day in my life. It is a Saturday currently about 9 15 i'm about to get ready to head out because um i want to do some grocery shopping today i want to do some cleaning and stuff today just a little bit not a lot so we're about to be going to target to go get some groceries get some toiletries and stuff um i just finished eating my breakfast which you guys are about to see you guys so this is my breakfast don't look at how burnt my pancake is i was a little too excited and ready to eat but got me some elderberry gummies got me some eggs that's two eggs y'all and i really feel like that's too much but it's okay got me some essential water and then i'm watching miss d era of course we love to see it i need some new flowers y'all look at my flowers oh my god um yeah these are the flowers that i had on that tiktok that i had made and it's on my instagram so if you haven't seen that tiktok or that um reel you need to go check it out right now thank you right now it was good y'all i'm a little upset that i burnt my pancake a little bit but i'm not gonna lie i ate it <laughs> and i made too much eggs for myself but i've been starting to exercise a lot more um recently so i want to get like my protein up and stuff like that i put me some chia seeds in my pancakes so just to kind of get make sure i'm full make sure you know i'm getting my nutritions that i need and things like that and then that's my two little elderberry pills because oh yeah you guys don't know so i recently had covid oh my gosh i had covid once i came back from florida so oh i think i did tell you guys in my moving diaries video so if you haven't seen that video yet then you need to go watch it and then come back and watch this video so yeah i um i had covid and like after that i was just like I felt like I really needed to get my health together because it wasn't terrible for me, but that was my second time getting COVID, uh, like this entire pandemic. And like my sister never had COVID. My boyfriend still has not had COVID and he is an exercise fanatic. Like he will exercise two, three times a day. He likes to eat healthy stuff a lot. And so the fact that he didn't get COVID and like we're together a lot i felt some kind of way i said okay china it's time for you to get your health together so that's why i started exercising more started taking my elderberries drinking more water and stuff like that and then my birthday coming up y'all virgo season i'm like i don't care what nobody say virgo season it literally sets the tone for the fourth quarter of the year and that's the best time of the year argue with your mama it's the best time i don't care what nobody say I don't care what nobody say. It's my birthday, then fall, Halloween, which is, eh, I don't really care for Halloween like that, but I like Halloween at the same time. And then Thanksgiving, and then the best of all, Christmas, then New... I don't care what y'all say. It's the best time of the year, period. But anyways, y'all, so I just, um, I did everything, brush my teeth, wash my face, and stuff like that. So I'm just about to put, I mean, I'm about to just put my shoes on i did my hair so i gotta take my head scarf off before we leave and i need to grab my to-do list to make sure i'm not my to-do list i need to grab my um grocery list and my toilet shoes list to make sure i have everything so i know exactly what i'm getting from the store so you know it could be a quick little trip hopefully it's never that when it's in target so i'm gonna see you guys once we get to target okay y'all so i'm about to um eh, i'm taking off my scarf i just put it on a minute ago and like usually oh my god see this is why i don't be doing my edges y'all this is exactly why because it always be doing this like it be looking so i just i feel like my baby hairs are too long to be trying to make them do certain things like because it don't look terrible right now but i don't like it when baby hairs be looking forced like it's it's giving very much force right now <laughs> so what i usually do like i put gel on my hair and i feel like maybe i should stop doing that um, and just let them fall into place on their own because i'm gonna insert a picture that i literally just took i think day before yesterday it was literally not that long ago i just took that picture and like my baby hairs um fell into place on their own i don't know like what do y'all think i just think it looks weird 
but this is what my hair looks like today something really quick and simple um i already had this braid in from a little while ago so i'm gonna redo my hair today but but um let me see yeah don't forget majesty perfume get yours get yours before they be out of stock and there is none left um so yeah now now i'm ready i'm ready mm. um what was i telling y'all oh yeah so like i was saying about my baby hairs they don't look that bad now but at first they looked like they were forced i like them to look natural so in the picture that i put right here that i'm gonna put right here um i think i just had my head scarf on and like i woke up and my edges was like that like they just be doing it on their own so i'm like i'm just gonna have to start letting them do their own thing but sometimes they don't be cooperating and i don't like that so yeah but i got my list so now it's time to head to the store so i'm gonna see you guys when we get there and peep the punani oil right here oh and one more thing i'm sorry this is the last thing so right now i have I have these two shelves right next to my vanity. Y'all saw it in my other video. If you didn't see it, then go watch it. Um, so I have these two shelves next to my vanity. And I was contemplating like how I wanted to do this because I don't get dressed in my bathroom because it just be too hot. Like I'm fresh out the shower. I don't want to be, I'm not trying to, it just be making me feel like I'm still wet, if that makes sense. So I get dressed in my room. And so I usually just keep all of my stuff right here. Not this, I just put this there just now. But I usually just have like all my stuff that i use when i get out the tub but i feel like i don't like the way that that looks like i feel like this i don't know i don't know if i would rather have decor right here or if i want to just keep it like this like i'm really unsure but i was also thinking to get like a little drawer like a dresser not a dresser but like a set of drawers that i could put all my stuff that i use like like my other beauty products because my vanity is really not that big so it's like i can't fit everything on there and it it only has one drawer so i can't fit everything in a drawer y'all know what i'm saying so i don't really know y'all let me know like what should i do what should i do should i just leave this shelf as my product shelf that i use like you know to moisturize and all that stuff and then i have this shelf over here this is not exactly how i want it i really gotta fix this on a whole lot because y'all put a command strip right here and this command strip is too thick so it makes it like sit out and then on this side i have a different command strip so you can't really see it but i know it's there and i don't like that so um i know i have to fix that and i feel like it kind of worked out perfectly because you know it's about to be fall so i know that i'm about to see a whole bunch of orange i'm about to see a whole bunch of cranberries and blues and greens and stuff like that because it's fall so yeah, y'all let me know in the comments below and what should I do about that. And I'm going to see you guys at the store. edges done got themselves together a little bit they look a little better than how they was looking at first they look a little more natural but i'm back in the car um i just got out of target and i'm about to go to walmart because for some reason these targets like at first y'all when i first found out about beyond me they only had it at this place called zapardos and they only had it at but that was like back in um new orleans so they only had this only had it at Zapardos and Target and when Dixie I think they didn't have it at Walmart so I come out here right they still didn't have it at Walmart y'all so they only had it at Target so now I'm coming to Target and I don't have it at Target but they have it at Walmart so I went to Target thinking they was gonna have it in there and all they have is the ground beef like the beyond meat ground beef and 
I want to make meatballs, but I'm not about to make them from scratch. So, now I'm about to go to Walmart, which I'm a little upset that they now have it at Walmart because when I was shopping at Walmart, they didn't have it. But now that I'm shopping at Target, they don't have it at Target, which is so dumb. So, that really kind of blew me. But it's okay. I'm going to just go ahead and go because I want to get into the habit of, like, just cooking once a week. And like just cooking like you know three or four meals two three four meals or something like that and then not having to cook no more because the more you cook the more dishes you gotta wash the more times you gotta clean the kitchen like this will be better i feel like i could be more productive and stuff and then i have more time to complete other tasks because i'm not cooking every night i'm not eating late every night so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go get these meatballs uh, just because I'm out, I might as well just get it. I might as well just grab it because I'm out. But I can't wait to show y'all. Like, I went and got groceries all by myself today. So exciting. Oh my God, let me tell y'all my horror story about my nails. Real quick, it's kind of cold in here. So y'all, oh, one more thing. I need to get some meatballs out of Walmart. And I want to get some press-on nails because I don't want to get my nails professionally done until it's closer to my birthday. Just because, let me tell y'all what happened before my trip to uh, Orlando so y'all I found a girl to do my nails the day before I went on a trip right so I go get my nails done and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to insert the pictures and stuff so y'all can see so I go get my nails done um that day for one my nail appointment was I think for it was for 4 30 and she pushed it back at 4 45 right so I'm okay that's cool because I was just about to get something to eat anyways so I get there and I told I was gonna be late because you know traffic starts to get bad around here and I had to go to Smyrna to get to her so um and it really wasn't that far but it was far enough to where I, I didn't get there until like five o'clock and I told her and she was like okay I'm still doing somebody's nails and I was just like you're still doing somebody's nails what do you what you mean what do you mean so I'm like, oh Lord, I hope she just be finishing up soon. So I got there about five o'clock and she was doing somebody's nails. Like I literally sat and waited for like, I'm gonna say about 15 minutes. I'm gonna I'm give her, I'm gonna just say 15 minutes I sat there and was waiting. <clears throat> so I finally started getting my nails done. She's doing my nails and stuff like that. And I showed her what I wanted. I'm gonna show y'all the picture of what I wanted and then I'm gonna show you the clip. Cause I think I talked about this in either, yeah, I talked about this in my prepare me video, but I never told y'all what really happened. So, um, so yeah, if you didn't watch that, so you need to go watch it. But if you did, you already know what's going on. So y'all already know what my nails look like. Um, so I'm not even gonna insert a picture. I'm gonna insert a picture of what they were supposed to look like, and they didn't look like how they were supposed to look. So, um, I told her I was like, "Ma'am, this is not marble. This is not what I asked for. Like, I wanted marble nails, cause like I really came up with this idea at the last minute. So I wanted some marble nails. Like, I wanted to do pink marble nails, and then the other nails, uh, like two of the marbles, and then um, the rest of the nails were gonna be white. So, so I did my marble." Well, she, it wasn't really marble. It wasn't really marble. Um, They ended up being, they like, looked more like tie-dye. Like, the lines and stuff weren't really defined in it. And I was just like, is this how it's going to look? Because, like, it's not really defined. Like, this doesn't look like marble. Like, it really looked like tie-dye, y'all. So, but it was too late. Like, she already used the powder and whatever, all the stuff that she be using. And already set, she already put the little, yeah, the little stuff she put all that on there so it was kind of too late she was gonna have to start all over but by this time it's already it's six something and it's like um you know i was leaving tomorrow i still had to go home and clean up and do all that stuff so i'm like okay well you could just leave it like that but i wanted to add something to it um to make like you know to kind of take away from it being messed up because it was just like not it was like it wasn't bad but i just knew that wasn't what i wanted and i'm like i'm not about to keep on paying for stuff that i don't want y'all like i'm not doing it so so um oh my god this is why i don't like coming to this walmart y'all because literally every time i come to this walmart they always be having people outside trying to sell you candy asking for money <sighs> trying to make you sign up for stuff like damn god damn can i breathe so, um, sir, are you gonna keep following? Look at this man. Look at him. Why are you looking all in my car? Focus on yourself. I found, I ended up like finding these little heart things. 
and um i ended up just rolling with that because i'm like you know I, I think she had somebody coming after me and you know i'm ready to go and like that was just the last piece and like i said it was getting late so i did that and then she finished my nails or whatever i left and stuff like that and then like maybe two days later i'm looking at my nails and it kind of looked like uh, they looked oh they were starting to look old like kind of like they were outgrown already and it's like i had just got them done and then when i came back off of my trip i say like my nails started to they started to um lift in the back and like you know y'all i'm 20 years old i've been getting my nails done acrylic nails since i was about 16 17 years old like and i don't been from i don't been to nail shops i don't been to nail techs and stuff like that so it's like I kind of know what nails are supposed to look like when they're supposed to start crack cracking and when they're supposed to start chipping and stuff like that like you know i feel like most girls know that i'm not a nail professional but it's like i've been getting my nails done long enough to know you know what i mean so like it started to to lift and i'm like okay my nails aren't even a week old why are they starting to lift so soon and i, I know my nails grow fast but they don't grow that fast so i text her once i got back and i was like hey like my nails are starting to lift and you know I, I just got them done last wednesday can i get them redone like can you fix them like you know for free because i'm not paying for that because that's not my fault like i i haven't y'all i literally got in the pool one time i didn't even go to the water park like i was supposed to i literally went on a couple of water rides but like for your nails to start lifting like that it's either the the, the product that she put on there wasn't bonding to my nail enough or i had to literally been sitting there soaking my hands in water and i wasn't doing that so i know it wasn't my fault so it had to be something that she did because it was literally just two nails the rest of my nails were fine so she was like oh no i don't really know what you want me to do and you have to pay because it's been over a week and all this other stuff and it's like y'all i don't have no problem with paying nobody their money i don't have a problem with paying for any services or nothing like that but I feel like a lot of these people in service industries, like, they really be doing the most. And she wasn't doing the most, but, like, I just feel like, for one, y'all, she didn't say good morning when I text her. I said good morning, and then, I, you know, the rest of the stuff. But, like, she never said good morning. I don't like that. I feel like customer service is the number one thing. That's always going to be something that's going to have people coming back to you is when you give them a good experience. So if you're starting a business, you need to make sure your customer service is A1. That's for one. That's the one thing I know for sure. <clears throat> like you're always going to go back to a place where the customer service is good. Um, so, so yeah, that's one thing. She didn't really have good customer service. And then she just felt like, oh, well, you got to pay for it. And it wasn't nothing but like 2 or $3, but I feel like I shouldn't have to pay that. I never was the kind of person to have nails lift and be popping off in the back like when i go to nail shops and stuff like that i never had that problem i've been to multiple nail techs i haven't had that problem like when i had them long nails for my birthday last year i don't even remember how i got those nails off but i know when it i remember when when my nail broke it didn't lift from the back y'all saw it it didn't lift from the back it literally cracked like my fingernail in half so and like I said, I had those nails on from my birthday all the way until I came back from Atlanta in my um, vlog y'all saw a few months ago back in like February or something. So I had those nails on for a while and like they didn't do none of that. So it's like I know it had to be something that she did that caused my nails to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta get some press on nails because I don't wanna go to somebody and that happens again. Like I really wanna take my time and find someone for my birthday and stuff. Then I wanna wait for my birthday because if I do it now, then I'm gonna have to get my nails done again and then done again for my birthday. So I'd rather just put some press on press on nails on. Um so that was the whole reason for me telling y'all all of that. That was the whole reason. I took all of these nails off and I just have these two on and I lost my nail file. So I'm gonna go in the store and go get me a nail file so I can take the rest of these off and then put me some nails on because I need to get some work done. I ain't gonna tell y'all I was going over. I just need to get some work done. So, excuse me, I'm gonna do that. Get the meatballs and I think that's gonna be it. Probably gonna see you guys once I get back to the house.
I think so. Yeah. But you guys, I'm back home from the store. And I didn't get like a whole lot of stuff. I got a little, little bit. I got enough to cook me about two or three meals, I'm going to say. Yeah, probably about two or three meals. So I'm probably going to cook all of that today. Um, Like I told you guys, meal prepping. So let me just show y'all what I got. So y'all know it's about to be fall. Like I, I was telling y'all earlier, I wanted to find like some orange decor to put in my room. I don't know if this is going to go in my room. And you know, it's not fall yet. But like once we officially start getting closer to fall, I'm going to probably maybe put this on one of the shelves to kind of give it a little spice to my room. As far as food, I got me some yams. So I'm going to be cooking some yams and salmon. And I think some yellow rice and maybe some green beans or something. And then I got me some Alfredo sauce because I'm going to be making some, uh, some shrimp pasta, which is like one of my favorites ever i brought these different kind of noodles i never had these noodles before so i got me some wipes for my toilets um wipes for the bathroom not for the toilet so i got some of those and then they were having two for five for the simply drinks so i got me some raspberry lemonade and then i got a peach one i'm trying to branch out and try different like drinks like different fruit drinks if that makes sense because I usually, like, lately, I've been getting, like, cranberry, but, I mean, the cran apple stuff, but I'm kind of tired of drinking that. Like, I'm going to try something else. Something that's, like, kind of healthy, because I'm pretty sure this isn't the healthiest, but. Yeah, because they put sugar in here. Yep, they put sugar in here, so. Oh, my God, 25 grams of sugar per serving? This is so unhealthy. I'm mad. I grabbed me some spinach because I want to do some salad one day. And then I brought me some cookies because, you know, I got to, I, I have to have, I don't have to have my cookies, but I choose to have my cookies because, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I have something sweet. And then I also got me some french fries, but hopefully they're not unfrozen because I went to Walmart after. And then I also got me some shrimp. So I'm gonna do like this is for the pasta and then the french fries I brought me some vegan nuggets like yesterday so I'm gonna have my vegan nuggets and my french fries whatever I just want to like cook up a quick little meal just throw it in the air fryer and that's everything from Target I lied that's not everything from Target I brought me some essential water but it's in the car oh uh, because I didn't feel like grabbing it it was two bags so I brought I got some essential water and then I brought me some toilet paper I'm gonna go back and get that in a little bit so that's all I got from um for Target, it came up to $88, uh, which I thought it was going to be more than that, but I really didn't get that much stuff. But it came up to $88, which I feel like it's cheap, but it's not cheap at the same time. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, I literally just got, what, four canned goods, a pack of cookies, some wipes, some tissue, and it was a small pack of tissue, two juices, some noodles, some spinach, and the freaking barbecue sauce and that came up to 88 dollars i got some vegan meatballs this is the kind that i get i think there's another kind like there's like a spicy kind i think but this is the italian style one and this is what i use in the spaghetti i had made last week so i want to make some barbecue meatballs with it so this is the kind that i got if you ever want to try some vegan stuff because i don't know what they got going on with these chickens and these cows these days and then i just got me a nail file to take these other two nails off and that's really it I'm about to go ahead and put all this stuff up and figure out, like, kind of coordinate me cooking and stuff like that. Um, so I'm probably see you guys when I start cooking.
I'm really working on getting more into cooking stuff, more cooking more hot meals, not just eating out, not just eating chicken, you know, vegan chicken nuggets and stuff like that. Like, I really just want to start cooking more. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the store, get all this stuff today, and meal prep some food. And I feel like so far it's been a success. Let me show you my containers. So y'all saw me um putting the food in these containers. I'm sorry about the shadow, but the yellow rice and go get it. The yellow rice and the green beans are in here. And I just have to cook the salmon, but I'm waiting on it to defrost. So um that's in these four containers and then i'm gonna have some salmon i don't know what flavor salmon i want to do yet but i'm gonna have the salmon in there and then i have these three for some of the pasta um and then i'm gonna eat some pasta like once it's finished and whatever i have left i'm probably just gonna put it in a bigger container and that's just gonna be that so i'm happy i know i need to get like some um i know i need to get some more meal prep containers because i feel like five isn't enough especially when i'm cooking like at least two meals like five is just not enough for all of those and like i want all my meal prep containers to look the same but i brought these i brought these from target and i got this one from um i think home goods so i brought them at separate separate times and that was before i found the ones i showed out in my moving diaries video that just went up a few days ago so if you didn't watch it, then go watch it after i finish this i'm about to go get ready um, I'm not going nowhere, but I'm about to go film some content, get some stuff done for my business, um, some stuff done for YouTube, some prep done for my birthday and all of that. So I'm about to finish up this pasta. So yeah, I'm probably catch you guys a little bit later, maybe a little bit later. Okay. So right now I'm in my living room and I'm ready to close out this vlog. I'm about to take some time to watch a movie and my night off real nice. Thank you. If you like this video, make sure you comment down below and like. I hope you guys had an amazing time spending the day with me and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.